to a new vlog it is Monday today starting the week with um, <laughs> great energy that's the word I'm looking for um, I am off to the mall I need to go exchange um, I need to go exchange a pair of shoes for Zoe and then I have a Pilates class at 12 and then have lunch, pick up the kids and head back home. <laughs> um, yesterday guys, I colored this hair, what's this, jet black and I am loving it so much for some reason it's like so it's much more like silkier and smoother than it was before dyeing it and I'm not sure if it was caused because I left it in like a different bunch of, bunch of conditioners for a couple of hours maybe like two to three hours um, I don't know if it's because of that or because of the dye but I actually expected it to be a bit like a little bit damaged because of the coloring but it's so silky and smooth this feels amazing I can't remember which um, vendor this was or which hair company this was but it was one of my wig reviews that I did a while back it's a 5x5 five five, um, closure wig but yeah, anyway, I wanted to start this um, vlog and let's head to um, Sandton City and then head to Pilates at 12. Have nothing to do with us. The remnant was shocked and hurt at his words. Cast aside, they steeped in bitterness towards the returned exiles. Zerubbabel made a great error in turning them away. He had failed to understand that the Lord desired that every nation should be welcomed into the family of God, 
especially those who shared the name of Abraham. The people of the land were discouraged and became enemies towards the exiles. They bribed counselors, vandalized their building sites, and wrote accusations against them to the king. They sowed lies and rumors that is... buying unnecessary clothing that I don't need and probably won't even wear because I told myself after I um, decluttered my closet that I do not need any more clothes until I feel like I've gotten like proper wear out of all my stuff well all the stuff that I have remaining The only thing I really could use is a pair of jeans um, that sits nicely. What's happening here? Guys, you see what I mean? <laughs> Like really, there is no need, absolutely no need, but I'm gonna try them on anyway. <laughs> oh, cute. So here's the first outfit, I really love it, and I know my hubby would love this as well. Oh, cute. There's also these um, A-line Bermudas. They are a bit like baggy. Um, I had to size down. This is a 34. The 36 was um, fine at the bottom, but too loose at the top. I would have needed to alter it. Everything just gets harder. Feeling like I'm missing some parts. Days just keep on getting much darker. Even when I'm down in the lower, I remember what you were saying. Sometimes all you need is a spark. Maybe just a Guides them, 
but the unfaithful are destroyed by their duplicity. Wealth is worthless in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. The righteousness of the blameless makes their path straight, but the wicked are brought down by their own wickedness. Good morning, queens. <laughs> I hope you guys are good and well. Um, it is obviously a different day. I think I last picked up the camera like two days ago. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I started um, my morning today um, reading the word, going through um, my Glorify app for my daily devotions and that's the app that you saw me on i'll leave i'll pop like a little icon for you guys um in case you want to download it i don't know if i've ever like shared details about that app but it's really good you get um daily quotes daily um devotionals and you get to go through like scripture and every week there's a theme um in place and i think i think this week's theme is um wisdom and knowledge and it's basically sharing how wisdom is the fear of the lord and today as you saw or might have seen we went through um proverbs 11 um and currently i am actually reading the book of Proverbs and I've gone through that chapter before so I was quite familiar with it and it basically um, shared a message about how it is so important to know um, Christ and know who you are in Christ because if you have that then if you have that wisdom then you don't worry about your future you don't worry about tomorrow you don't worry about you know what's coming in this year what's coming next month because you trust that um, God has plans for you plans to prosper you and um, plans to give you a future and I really loved today's message which is why I thought I would um, share it with you guys because it resonated so much with me I think um, the past month today is the first of february as well so just reflecting on january and how i have built the habit of um taking time to spend with god um whether it's in the mornings or evenings or both um most times i really try to just make it both so i can meditate daily and nightly on the word of god but you know sometimes life does happen um and there's sort of distractions or things that stand in the way of um me doing it both day and night but i do try my best to do so anyway i've noticed that building the habits of you know sitting with god being in his presence praying and just making it a priority because i really never want to go on with my day without having this time which is reading the bible um i do prayer journaling as well um or i pray out loud as well or i do both um and then i go through the glorify app as well it has really helped me with confidence and confidence because i know or I'm, I'm getting to learn or getting to see the character of god and the character um, of god within me as well so i'm getting to learn who i am in christ and that actually boosts my confidence so much because i'm not living for this world but i am living for christ and literally every day whatever is on my mind that is obviously not harmful to the next person i have the confidence to say it out loud say it boldly whereas before i would like overthink everything or how does this sound how does that sound basically i struggled with um people pleasing i feel like to some certain degree and lately i don't have any of that because I'm not trying to please people, I'm not trying to please anyone, um, but I'm trying to please 
the Lord. I am trying to live for God and that is literally the only thing that matters. So yeah, it was today's message is very nice and I resonated with it um a lot. And I also managed to just um remind myself who I am in Christ and this would apply to you as well as a child of God. Um if you are Christian, if you you know believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the things that I pulled out today is that I am fearfully and wonderfully made I am chosen I am valued I am a child of God I am worthy I am alive in Christ I am a Christian um, and no weapon formed against me shall prosper and for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans not to harm you, but to give you hope and a future. Um, I walk by faith and not by sight. I trust the Lord with all my heart and I lean not on my own understanding. And the Lord will fight for me and I shall hold my peace. So those are the um, few, I mean, there's so many, there's so many. And I've realized that we need to speak scripture over our lives, you know, even if it's something that you do every day, even if it's something that you do, you know, randomly throughout the day. But those scriptures that you remember, that you have read, speak them over your life. Um, the one that I always remind myself of as well is that God has not created me with the spirit of fear but of power, love, and self-discipline. And every time I feel very like daunted or um, scared to do something or scared about something, I remind myself of that scripture that God did not create me with the spirit of fear. Therefore, it does not, if I feel, if I feel fearful in any situation, that is not a spirit that comes from the Lord. And I need to speak the fact that he has created me with the spirit of power, love, and self-discipline and not of fear every time I feel scared. And honestly, whatever I'm feeling um, fearful about is removed. So it's very important that we speak scripture over our lives and obviously you're not able to speak scripture over your life if you don't read and get to know scripture so yeah I've been enjoying this time so much and I just thought I would share share it with you guys I am on my way to the gym now and gonna get my day going today I'm meeting up with my friends um, Lindo and Fez we want to just shoot a little bit of content for Instagram so yeah but i'm gonna go to the gym now then i'm gonna come back and get ready to head out to lunch i hope you guys are having a good morning or day or whenever you watch this so far please remember to subscribe to the channel and it's growing um so much from the last video that i posted and i want i just want to say to you guys thank you so much for, you know the warm welcome that you've given me and the love and support that you guys give me I truly truly love it and like I always say I love this audience that um, we have built so this little community family that we have built you guys truly are such a blessing and I pray to God for each and every one of your lives and that you know his blessings may always locate you Got you a few minutes ago. Yeah. 
they go bored without you. I just say bye, then I miss you. Wanna control what I do? She's such a beauty with issues. Baby, we can make it so simple right now, yeah. Something in your past must be weighing you down, down. So you Good morning. My background looks so pretty. Pretty and green. <laughs> um, I just dropped the kids off at school. And I went over to Willie's to get myself my cappuccino and I am going to be Bible reading and praying outside today and yeah I love this place so much it's so peaceful and relaxed but yeah I hope you guys are good and well um, I think I left you yesterday when I was out with my girls change of plans I think I'm gonna continue this <laughs> at home because I am not wearing a cap and the Sun is blazing and this bench is a bit hard to move to the shade and there's like mosquitoes everywhere so abort mission Friday and at church they have like a women's conference mini conference that happens um, that happens once a month and these mini conferences um, sort of build up to the big bigger scale one <laughs> that happens in September and it is called sisters so so yeah that's where I am going tonight and um, what's really lovely is that my friends are or some of my friends are going to so it should be a really fun night a really blessed night I'm just trying to get my lips sorted Guys, I have so many of these um, Maybelline, what is it called even, Lifter Gloss, um, Lip Gloss. These are basically like a dupe, well I don't want to say a dupe, <laughs> but a dupe of um, the Fenty Glosses. And I love Fenty, I love and I'm obsessed with the Lip Glosses, but mm-mm. 
this thing of taking out 600 rand every time I want a lip gloss. No worries. And they don't last as well. Something I've realized. I was saying the Fenty ones don't last. So sometimes it's just better to get a cheaper alternative. And this shade is called Moon. It is basically the same as um, the shade... Mm, what is it called? Fussy from Fenty. So try them out. <laughs> Tell me what you think. Are they or are they not a dupe? And are they worth um, buying since they are much less than the Fenty? Or do you just prefer popping 600 Rand for that tiny little lip gloss that finishes so quickly? <laughs> um, but anyway, let's get going. I think I'm all good. Um, I don't have any makeup on. I really just don't wear makeup much lately. Even yesterday when I went out, I didn't have makeup on. I just literally put on blush. I feel like with a good install and lashes, you don't even need makeup. <laughs> and it just saves so much more time. But yeah, I am ready. My hair, I sort of changed it a bit. Remember those lines that I had here? I took those out and I tried curling it with my Dyson, but of course it is flat already, but it's fine. Let's get going. Which watch should I put on? Let's do this baby pink. These are all Seeker Design watches, guys. Do check them out on Instagram. I will leave their name and link um, on the screen and in the description box for you guys. My purpose in God Love have your way This song And you know my every taking them out of the house actually it is a saturday afternoon so i thought i would take them to the clubhouse so they can um yeah play a bit and stuff and this is my mom fit for the day just wearing these black pants and this black nike crop top and yeah let's get going and dreams but you have in store far better things my future comes alive when you're leading me Take it all and take control 
Take my life and all I am Shape me in your mighty hand Take my heart and take my soul Take it all and take control Take my life You are the vine And we are the branches I can do nothing apart from honestly been meaning to buy um, this lip gloss for a while now and thank you so much Le Mer, for sending it to me these are um, lip volumizing lip glosses I don't know if you guys can see the names there but it, there are two new shades that they just released it's A33 and A53 and it's like this pretty pink I don't know if you can see properly there it's like a pretty pink shade and um, a bit of a brown or orangey tone as well love love so excited to use these I am such a lip gloss girly this is the shade a 33 so the pink one absolutely love 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 <laughs> And they are volumizing as well so they do have that like plumping sensation to them absolutely love you're my lifeline you're my lifeline you're my lifeline mm. you're my lifeline 